क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 5.2 इज 2x plus y y y is equal to 23 and 4x plus y is equal to 19. Now, to this question, I am telling that in how many methods we can solve it. Because first of all, you have to find the value of x and y, and then we put it in x minus 3y and 5y minus 2x. But the important thing is that as I told you in the elimination method, I can do it in four different ways. First way, I can equate the coefficient of x, I can equate the coefficient of y, equating coefficient of x and subtract the two equations. In the second case, I can say equating coefficient of y and then subtract the two equations. So here we are subtracting, but if the coefficient of x in one equation is negative and in another equation it is positive, then we can add the two equations. Same way, if the coefficient of y in one equation is negative and in another equation it is positive and both are equal, we can add the two equations. So, we have to see that out of these four, which looks like to be the most convenient to us. Here, we know that the coefficient of y are already equal and both are positive. So, it means we can apply this. This is the simplest form. Now, I am solving it by after applying this as well as this. If I plan to equate the coefficient of x, I multiply the first equation by 2. So, it will be 4x plus 2y is equal to 46 as the first equation and 4x plus y is equal to 19 as the second equation. When I subtract the 2, this can be cancelled out. So, the value of y will become 27. And when I put the value of y as 27 in the first equation, it is 2x plus 27 is equal to 23. So, 2x comes out to be 23 minus 27, that is minus 4, or the value of x becomes minus 4. Now, what we have done in this case is, we have equated the coefficient of x and then solved it. Now, we can also put it in the same manner that equating the coefficient of y because the coefficient of y are already equal, so we need not to multiply the first equation by 2. Instead of this, we can directly subtract the 2. Because this can be cancelled out. Here it is minus 2x is equal to 4 and the value of x becomes minus 2. So, whether we solve it by this or this, the answer comes out to be the same. And if we put the value of x as minus 2 in the first equation, so 2 multiplied by minus 2 plus y is equal to 23. So 4 plus y is equal to minus 4 plus y is equal to 23. And the y value becomes 27. So either we equate the coefficient of x or we equate the coefficient of y. It does not matter. The answer comes out with same. But we have to understand by looking at the equation that either it's better to co uh, equate the coefficient of y or it's better to equate the coefficient of x. But if the coefficient of x or y are same and their terms are positive and negative, suppose I have to solve a question like 2x plus y is equal to 7 and 2x minus y is equal to 3 or 4x minus y is equal to 3, it's always better that directly we can add the two equations because this can be cancelled out on its own. 6, x becomes 10 and we can directly get the value of x as 5 by 3. This is an example I am giving just so that you are very clear about solving the question by any of the four given methods. In the next class, we will talk about the 10th question. If you have any problem in this, you can go to our uh, uh, portion of linear equation where I already solved all the questions by all the three methods. 
in the exercise 5.1 we have uh, added the substitution here we are talking about elimination and in the next uh, exercise we will talk about cross multiplication thank you